Hi everyone, before we begin, I would like to emphasize that this video is separate from my work and is part of my desire and effort to bring zero cost information to developers. Today I will try to give you a quick overview of what platforms are with Bazel. So basically platforms are used by Bazel to describe the environment within the build process. And you have three different platforms. The first one is the host platform, which is where uh, you run the Bazel command line tool. So this is basically describe uh, your, the environment for your terminal. Then you have the execution platform. So this is where your action, your Bazel action actually executes. So for example, if you run a GCC, um, this is where the, the environment where the GCC executable will run. And finally, you have the target platform. And this is where the final output of your Bazel target resides or executes. So this might be different from uh, your host and execution platform if you use cross-compilation build, for example. So here are uh, maybe some use cases to make it more concrete. Um, so in a single platform build, which is what uh, most of the people will use with Bazel, the host and execution and target platform are the same. Um, so yeah, as an example, uh, if you want to build on your laptop a program that should run on your laptop, so the host um, is the, your laptop, the execution is where GCC will build, for example. So it's also your laptop and your target is also targeted for your laptop. Then you might have also a cross compilation build uh, where your host and execution platform might be the same, but the target might be different. So this can happen, for example, if you want to build um, from your laptop to a Raspberry Pi. So in that case, your host and execution platform will describe a platform with x86 CPU, while your target CPU might be an ARM. You might have also a product variants in your code base. Um, let's say you have a source code that you want to, and you want to generate executable for two different uh, glibc versions. In that case, your target platform uh, might embed this uh, variation. So the target platform, you might have two of them one that describes a certain um, glibc version and the other one, another one. And another common use case uh, is when you run, run uh, use a remote execution. In that case, the host platform will be different from the execution platform. So again, the host platform is the one where you run um, Bazel as a command line tool. The execution one platform will be, it could be an Amazon server, maybe on the cloud where you run your actual GCC um, compiler. And the targets might be the same as the host, might be different depending whether you use cross compilation or product variants. So another important notion that goes together with platforms is constraints. And you can see constraints basically as, uh, or platform as a collection of constraints. Uh, constraints is basically a category of things and you will have the notion of constraint settings and constraint value. Constraint settings are the category and constraint values will be uh, an enum value with this, cat this category. So for example, as a, here's some example of platform that will different di two different constraints in that case, one for CPU, one for OS with two different values. So x64 for the CPU and Linux for the OS. It can be, your platform can also describe um, some runtime constraints, for example, like, and this will affect, this could affect your build uh, graph with Bazel and could affect uh, the option, the compilation option your compiler will output. Or it can be also a product variant, like for example, you build an insta installer for your program and this tell Bazel that you want to embed all artifacts within your installer. So this could be also a variant. So as you see, uh, it's quite powerful. Now let's jump in into some example code. So now we'll try to show you how to use the build platform to influence the build. So let's start with an empty workspace. Uh, we'll first create, we'll try to create a, a rule that will output the name of the OS. Um, so let's go ahead and let's create a build file. Let's create a build rule. Um, let's output the OS.txt file and based on the platform, we'll output a different string. So if we have a Linux OS, we output Linux. If we have Windows OS, we output Windows. So it's quite simple and let's try it. 
Bezel build, select OS. So now Bezel is fetching its dependencies and it's done. So let's look at what happened now in select.os.text, we have Linux. All right, so it seems to work well. Now the other thing we can do with platform is to use something called, called um, <clears throat> target compatible with. And with that, we can create a linux.shell file um, that can ping, um, just can ping an address, let's ping Google. We create the same for Windows as a batch file that pings also Google. And we'll try to create two rules that are um, compatible with their uh, given platform. So let's go ahead, let's create a build file. Let's create a shell test that wraps uh, the Linux script. And we use this target compatible with um, to match it with the OS Linux. Uh, we do the same uh, for Windows. And this means that uh, when we try to test anything within this project uh, on a Linux platform, all the ones that are marked as target compatible with Windows will be skipped. So this is called the uh, automatic uh, target skipping from Bazel. So let's try, let's go ahead and try. Let's write Bazel test uh, dot, dot, dot to test everything. And as you see, um, our target compatible with Linux, so our Linux uh, target got uh, executed while the Windows one got skipped. So now let's try to execute manually the Windows one to try to see what happened. So Bazel test target compatible with Windows. And as you see, uh, Bazel tell us that uh, this is incompatible with our platform, basically. The target platform that is auto-generated um, by Bazel didn't satisfy the constraints Windows because here we have Linux. All right, so another thing we can do is to uh, create our own platform. So we'll try to create a platform that um, that force Bazel to think that we're running on a Windows machine, even though I'm running on a Linux machine. So let's try to use it directly. So it's quite simple. We use Bazel test with platforms equal Windows. And then we see we kind of uh, mocked Bazel in thinking that we're running Windows in this time. So the Linux platform has been skipped. The Windows target uh, run but fail simply because we are using here um, a command that is not known by Linux. So now the other thing we can do is to try to create a platform that uses a different OS. So let's assume that we have uh, an OS that we could call my OS. Um, we give it to the constraint setting OS, so this is the same as the one we use for Windows, but uh, we just give it basically to this category a new value. And we create a new platform that um, expose or that use this value. So that's it. And now let's try to use it. So we'll try to uh, test everything and the target compatible with as a start to see what happened. And as you see, all got skipped. And this was expected simply because none of the um, uh, constraint settings uh, are satisfied here because the value here is custom and we're expecting either Linux or Windows. So now let's try also to test this on the, on the root of our project. And as you see, we have an error because uh, the condition we checked within the select statement here are only one of those two. So it can it handle only the Linux case and the Windows case. But in our case, we have the MyOS case, which is not defined here. So what we can do is to create basically a default case uh, that will match for everything. And here we can write unknown instead. So let's go ahead and try. <clears throat> All right, that seems to work. At least it passed. And now we can check in select which OS has been written and the value is unknown as expected. So I hope uh, this demonstrated the use of the Bazel uh, platforms. I hope you find it useful. And if so, please subscribe.